Hi everyone! So today is May 9th and I just got home and in first period we finished doing the autobiographies and I helped hold up the pictures in both of them because it's live and if you don't know about that I talk all about it in last week's vlog so if you want to see that then just click the little eye up in the corner and you can go watch that. So I helped hold up the pictures in both of the groups that went today because I'm friends with people who are in those groups so I just helped them out and that was fun but I had to be really quiet and then in second period we just did busy work in third period we are making a I don't know I forgot what it's called it's like you take an index card and you make it into a puzzle piece I guess you can call it and so you cut something out on one side and then you tape it to the other and then you cut something out on this side and you tape it to the other side. But half the class is doing that and half the class is learning how to solve a Rubik's Cube in under three minutes. And I know that that will be impossible for me, so I'm not going to do it. And it's just way too complicated. But the thing I'm doing is pretty complicated too, but the Rubik's Cube I feel like is harder because I'm not really good with them at all, like at all. Then we went to lunch, and then in PE we just played tennis, and then we read the end of act two in Romeo and Juliet, and we watched the first part of it because we read the different acts, and then we take a test. And then we watch them. And then tomorrow we're going to watch the end of Act 2 and then start reading Act 3 of Romeo and Juliet. And that was all in English, of course. Duh. Uh, what other class would you do it in? <laughs> and then in Spanish, we took a test, which I don't know about. I'm going to have to look in the grade book for that. But in math, we did find out our scores if we wanted to for the math test that we took and I got an 85 I got a 40 out of 47 so I did pretty good on that test it was a pretty hard test though but now I'm just gonna watch Gossip Girl oh my gosh the Humphreys are out of control and Serena is the queen now okay so I just finished episode 5 of season two and so Dan was being nice to Chuck because his life is very interesting and he wants to make a story for that guy who fired him and it needs to be interesting and Chuck's life is interesting and Dan's isn't so he wanted to be friends with him so he could get the story and then Chuck found out and it was just really bad but Dan ended up writing the story anyways and Jenny skipped 10 days of school to go help for fashion week and then her dad made an appointment for her to talk to the headmistress and she told her that she wasn't going back to school and she didn't let her dad into the fashion show so now it's May 10th and I was just watching some home videos that my dad used to make on Christmas and they are so cute. So now it is 12.05 in the morning and I just got done watching season two, episode 13 of Gossip Girl and oh my goodness, Serena's mom aborted a baby, I think. And the baby was Mr. Humphreys. This is what I think at least because they haven't really said much about it but he asked her if it was a boy or a girl. And that kind of just hinted at something in my brain, like, I think she aborted a baby. I'm not positive, but I think. I'll update you guys. I was wrong. She didn't abort the baby. She made an adoption. I knew it was something involving a baby, but it was hers and Mr. Humphreys, and she gave it away. And Serena and Dan are gonna get back together! Sorry, I was a little high-pitched right there, but... I'm, as you can see, they're like my power couple. Now it's my 11th and it is 2.12 <laughs> and my mom picked me up early from school 
for the first time. Won't happen again. Oh. <laughs> in this whole school year, actually, because I'm either late to school or I don't go to school. I never get picked up early, but that is because I have a dentist appointment today because I have to get my braces tightened again. So I just got out of the dentist and. As you can see, my vans are light blue, which I didn't want. I wanted gray or black, but that's okay because I have a power chain on the bottom and they're trying to pull teeth over because the lines don't line up. Like the middle of these two teeth don't line up with the middle of those two teeth. And so they're trying to fix that by pulling those teeth over. And this, the light blue power chain was the strongest chain they had, like the most efficient, right? The quickest? I don't know. So I got light blue instead of gray or black because those power chains aren't as good as this one. And my mom got me a slushie from Sonic, the watermelon one, so yeah, thank you. You're welcome. So now I'm watching Gossip Girl and Serena was talking to Miss Carr, also known as Rachel, that's her first name. And I think she was foreshadowing something I'm not positive, but I think, because she was talking about Gossip Girl to Rachel, and she said, it's a girl who gossips online. At least I think it's a girl. And that kind of foreshadows about if it is a guy and not a girl, which I don't know who it is, but I just wanted to say something about that because I thought that was very interesting. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.